five random Fusion 360 mistakes that I see beginners make. Number one, first, when I'm asking beginners or users in Fusion 360 to find a revolve or an extrude, they might use this S key for searching to find features. When you look for revolve, for example, I'll get the question, which revolve do I pick? And if you do extrude, you'll notice something similar. Do I pick the blue extrude or the orange extrude? You'll notice everything on the solid toolbar is basically this blue color. If you switch to the surface toolbar, you'll notice that everything follows kind of this orange scheme and that's your giveaway. So you have a sketch, you go to extrude, and this time we choose the surface extrude or orange extrude. It's going to extrude and provide a surface but what's important to note is not only did it not close this off within surfaces and fill this volume, all surfaces have zero thickness. And this is great for working with more complex models and organic shapes. And number two, sometimes when working with multi-bodies, like in this example, I've carefully created each wooden panel as its own body so that I can use this slick arrange command here at the end so that I can plan this out for to run on my CNC. Working with multi-bodies in this case can be pretty friendly, but the thing I have to be careful of is when I'm creating an extrude. For example, I'm extruding this panel, let's say. We'll go back in time and timeline, edit the feature, and when I was extruding it, I was careful to put to select new body on each one. And now if I say join, what's going to happen is because this touches these other four pieces, it will join all of them together. And instead of the six bodies, we now have two bodies. And if we look at this, you can see that it's fused into one and we have a back piece and one full piece for this design. So you'll notice that when I join, everything becomes one or fused into one body. And we still have this one back panel piece um, as its own separate body. So what you'll want to be careful of is when you're using your features and you're doing a multi-body design, always check that it's not joining, but instead it's using the new body command. Another common frustration I see is users selecting multiple entities without really noticing. So for example, they want to apply a, a tangency or they'd like to set that these two lines are equal and kind of without noticing, they'll select a point, a line, and now this other line. And so now there's not really a way to make these equal because you've included a point. So instead, I like to hit escape on the keyboard. This releases or removes all of those things that I've selected. And so now I'm allowed to use shift or hold control or command, select these two items, and now I can make them equal. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you go to extrude something, maybe you wanted to use this sketch a couple times to do different features. For example, I want to do a plate and then use these circles to create tabs that come up. And one challenge is that when I create this new body, the sketch disappears, right? And it's not gone. You can find it over in the browser. You can simply toggle that visibility on. You also can select the sketch down in the timeline and it will highlight for you. But it's important to know that once a feature uses a sketch, it's not deleted or removed, it's just simply hidden. And finally, let's talk about working with visibility and selection. Imagine you're trying to select maybe this plane for the XY plane or the XZ plane, and you're trying to select it but there's all of these things in the way. The first strategy to get to this plane is to simply click on it, click and hold with your left mouse click. And you'll notice all of these options pop up. And so you can come in and select the plane without having to hide anything or work with it. And this allows you to select through as well as select 
underside or components edges entities that are hard to get to. The next option is to simply use V for visibility and you can start to hide components, bodies, things that are in the way. And now I've got the ability to see this plane here. Uh, it looks like I need to hide this point, this body, and now I can get to that plane. Now I can bring that visibility back by right clicking and show all components, show all bodies, It'll bring everything back. That can feel a little tedious as well. And finally, another alternative to this is just to simply toggle your display state. So if I go to visual style and go to wireframe, this can help you see all these back sides as well as you know components, bodies, ability to understand where all the edges meet and be able to come in and select an edge quickly um, where maybe selecting it in the shaded state can be a little bit trickier. Still, the, the left click and hold can be especially helpful where I want to select a face, an edge, or these other side faces. Hey, and if you're new to Fusion 360, be sure to check out my 47 tips guide. I've got a download and a cheat sheet for you here. It's free at my website. Go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video.